nice so we're about to get it get it working and then tease I'm going to adjust which PCB you can find a better image I'm just using whatever I had you can find a nice image with just few transistors not so many circuits because it doesn't look like a memory to many circuits um, you can even find the memory image out there and uh, if it's in flat you can just go ahead and um, use it and actually that's what I'm gonna do actually I'm going to go ahead and find the memory image computer memory and in my image um, okay and I'm going to find flat like this guy right here and I'm gonna go ahead and save it alright and I just saved that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, bitmap select the bitmap and um, I'm gonna go ahead and it's not in here so I'm gonna go ahead and put on pause and put it in there and keep in mind that it's not good to use somebody graphics it's good to take a picture of yourself but this is just video tutorial and I'm showing you some examples how you not have to do but you know use your own image I'm just you know don't have recently the memory I can go ahead and shot it but unfortunately I want to make it quick so I'm gonna go ahead and use that I'm gonna open it and uh, I'm going to use cropping placement which is gonna bring me here and scroll it down apply and cropping placement view image and uh, I'm going to select you can see the T's we have the T's we can use the T's as a texture as well but we're not going to do so uh, for the T's we're going to use the material actually that we're gonna create so I'm gonna select like so select that memory as you can see in that bounded box and I'm gonna click F9 and um, gonna check it out yeah it's 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 good it's almost there and um, what I'm gonna do next I'm going to go ahead and use the modifier list because it's kinda funky as you can see I'm gonna use the modifier list click on it and I'm going to find UV map this guy right here click on it so you just learn how to use the modifiers your first modifier and on modifier I can tell the 3d max how this map should be applied on my model I'm gonna say or on a selection I'm going to say on those polygons that those polygons they already like pre-selected without strategy um, to apply the material to the polygons I'm going to say box and as you can see that the yellow thing just showing us it's going to apply as a box and I'm gonna click F9 and it's better looking memory now but it's like stretch so much so what I can do um, I can use face try that face is like so many and uh, funky so we are probably gonna use the box and which is fine we didn't need like so so to be so precise um, it's fine because uh, if we're gonna zoom out a little bit as you can see in our viewport and render it it's from the distance it looks just perfect or you need to find a better quality uh, picture you need to resize it using your image editor to make it so perfect I'm not going to do so right now this video will be a purpose to show you how to texture it to get you the idea you know I don't like the tutorials that you gotta follow step by step I like the tutorials that bring some skills and all my tutorials will bring you some skills so this is the skill how to get the memories uh, textured of course you can retouch it make it better for sure alright but you can see it's looking flat so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button right here which is go to parent icon and it's gonna bring me back to my texture of that thing to main uh, to main index of the texture so I'm gonna click maps click on it and it's gonna uh, bring me expand 
some other options, features. I'm going to go ahead and click on memory and uh, scroll down up to bump and place it. Holding my mouse and then place it and I'm going to say copy, and click OK and it's going to select the bump. And um, what it's going to do, I'm going to say 100, it's going to uh, bring some bump and basically make the texture sticking out some parts of it. So it's going to look more like a 3D object instead. Let me demonstrate you. Then I'm going to click select pen view, click on my view and F9. And you can see it's flat almost. Not yet, but if I'm going to say 300. And you can see over here, it just changed. Let me show you uh, 50 and 300. It's it's like, like you can see it's bumpy. Uh, I'm going to say 50 first. Always keep eye over here. This represents your texture as well. Let's say 50. It's flat almost, right? See this? Now I'm going to say 300. Click update. See how bring some bumps. If I'm going to click F9 and select my viewport perspective, you can see it's brought that thing and uh, it's not so perfect when you close up because our texture is suck but when from the distance and from the angle it's gonna look like a m real memory almost like real chips like in 3D models but it's not it's just a texture okay so this is the basics of the textures using the bump and um, make um, your model um, textures look like almost like 3D models let me put 500. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's nice. It's like detailed now. You can see it's more bumpy. That's what we're going to use. So we like this. And uh, now I'm going to go ahead and texture the T's. And I'm going to go ahead and select um, the first... Um, polygon right here another polygon I mean uh, the circle the texture and um, I'm gonna go standard click on this button and since 3d max to I believe 7 this function just came alright or 8 uh, 3d max 8 and I believe maybe in 7 you can find it as well and then 2009 2010 2011 and I'm gonna go to um, before that before that, um, I'm going to close my material uh, editor, go to rendering, uh, render setup. It's going to bring the window. My computer recently needs to get restarted. It didn't restart for two or three weeks. There's a lot of project on that. I'm running i7 today. Um, Core to do and i7 are perfect for 3D Max if your project are not so complex otherwise you gotta wait every time a little bit and uh, over here and find the assign renderer click on it expand it and default skyline render we don't want that we want to use the better render mental ray renderer I'm gonna click on that and it's gonna make sure it's selected and saying over here then we're gonna close and click amp button Monica button on your keyboard and it's gonna bring us the material tutor uh, material editor and then we're gonna go ahead and click the memory T's texture that circle and go on standard and more materials coming as you can see and we're gonna use some pre-built art arch and design click on it and it's gonna bring us some more options scroll down and select the chrome this guy right here and uh, now it's in Chrome we're gonna click our uh, pen view click on our uh, perspective and uh, F9 to render it and see how it's look like well it's black but it's a uh, metal color why it's black because it's reflecting our black background let me demonstrate you real quick if we're gonna go ahead and change to uh, copper and click it again you're gonna see copper perfectly um, 
we just need to change our background it's just reflecting uh, the black background so what I'm gonna do I'm pretty much I'm just going to go ahead and um, bring some um, some box huge box to our scene and uh, using my viewports and zoom in zoom out with my scroll button in my mouse I'm gonna make sure that it's higher than my memory PCB somewhere over there okay and then I'm gonna click material M button to bring the material editor and the third one over here I'm gonna say diffuser diffuser and uh, I'm gonna go standard click on it ink and paint and then instead of blue I'm gonna change to white solid white and make sure that your box selected right here that huge box and I'm gonna go ahead and click this button assign material to selection and what we'll do it will assign white color to a box on top I'm gonna click render and I see white color on the box so that's what I wanna do and um, this is our diffuser and when I'm gonna zoom in and render again now I need to put the light source so now a little bit skills about the lighting how to create the light on the scene uh, gonna go create and then lights click on it and select standard and MR area omni because we're using the mental ray render Remember when we set the render, render right here, mental ray. That's why we need the MR Omni lights. We're going to perfectly program with mental ray. Click somewhere, bring that light, and click F9. Let's check it out. Here we go. We just that texture, the chrome, uh, chrome, uh, lookish copper lookish texture received the light, and. Uh, you can place the light the way you want it, like rotate it, place closer to a, an object, and let's say right here, this is our PCB, this is our light. And um, go to modify on the light, when light selected, this little thing, guy is light. And um, call it light, so you're gonna know. Okay, and just place it maybe like so, let's see uh, change the position okay I just place it on the side let's place it over here and it's gonna bring more light okay I think it's from the other side maybe I'm wrong make sure you have enough light it's probably too close let's move it and let's see where our light is it's on top so we gotta bring it to the bottom make sure you working with all your viewports you know exactly where your light located let's bring it to the uh, level of the memory so it's going to bring so much light to it not from the top but from the distance okay as you can see just those T's they highlighted and yeah from the side we have a perfect memory okay kind of realistic we can use it you can sub, uh, subdivide more uh, polygons on the bottom and create more T's extend more T's the way you want it you know if you need so you need to be if you need to be so precise you can make this cube so precise by meters centimeters millimeters there's an option right there scale it the way you want it but that that's will do this is perfect so we just learned how to